On the DNA level, your body is made of many biomolecules like nucleotides and nucleic acid. They carry around energy for all metabolic processes and chemical reactions like cell division, protein synthesis and repair. Nicotinamide mononucleotide or NMN is a nucleotide derived from ribose and nicotinamide. Research shows that NMN might be a potential anti-aging agent. If you want to know what is nicotinamide mononucleotide, then check out this video about NMN and how to use it as a supplement. Do it! Most nucleotides are primarily used for building DNA, but NMN gets used for making NAD or nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. NAD plus is a coenzyme involved in virtually all metabolic reactions. Without NAD you would die. And new research shows that NAD is very important for slowing down the aging process as well as just improving energy production. NMN is a precursor to NAD plus and NADH. Here are the benefits of NMN. NMN suppresses age-related body weight gain and enhances energy metabolism. It improves insulin sensitivity, eye function and diabetes. Prevents age-associated gene expression changes in a tissue-specific manner. It increases telomere length and repair in mouse liver cells. NMN boosts sirtuins, which are longevity genes that may slow down aging. It supports kidney function and protects against kidney damage. Better blood flow and capillary repair, which promotes cardiovascular health. Decreases neuroinflammation and improves memory, which may protect against neurodegenerative disease. Unfortunately, there are no long-term clinical trials done on humans, but the evidence that we have right now is already pretty promising. As you get older, your NAD plus levels decrease and your energy production begins to suffer. NMN facilitates higher NAD and ATP while simultaneously regulating the metabolism, circadian rhythms, enzymatic reactions and thus aging. The loss of NAD plus is thought to be caused by the accumulation of oxidative stress and DNA damage that happens during aging. This same depletion is seen in older brains as well. In one long-term study, mice were given NMN. The group who received a high dose of 300 mg per kilogram a day lost 18% of their body weight with no added exercise. However, young mice who got the same treatment didn't see any benefits, but the older ones did. So NAD supplementation is more effective when you're older and you already suffer from decreased NAD. NAD plus precursors can also alleviate the effects of muscle loss and age-related sarcopenia. With less muscle, you're going to experience more inflammation and more oxidative stress, and you'll also be more predisposed to age-related diseases. Dr. David Sinclair is a researcher of aging in Harvard, who discovered the life extension effects of resveratrol in the mid-2000s. In 2013, his lab reported that injecting NMN to old mice for just a week restored their mitochondria back to a youthful state. However, they also found that the muscle strength of NMN injected mice didn't improve. Sinclair and others proposed that it was due to the short treatment period of just a single week, which wasn't long enough to see a significant change in muscle mitochondria. Me personally, I do think that NMN and other NAD precursors, they will definitely enhance your mitochondrial functioning and increase your energy production. This is going to improve all the other metabolic reactions and physiological processes that your body goes through on a daily basis. To produce NAD, it needs to be created from NMN or through your own endogenous bioenergetics. NAD can be synthesized from the amino acids tryptophan or aspartic acid. Animal protein tends to be a more bioavailable source of NAD precursors as well. Vitamin B3 or niacin supplementation can also increase NAD plus levels. Fermented foods like sauerkraut and kombucha have B vitamins and can increase NAD plus. The fermentation process produces NADH and lactate, which creates NAD+. Ketone bodies lower the production of reactive oxygen species in the mitochondria by increasing NADH oxidation into NAD+. Glucose depletion results in increased NAD+, by promoting AMPK and CERT1 activity. A ketogenic diet promotes NAD+, levels because of fatty acid oxidation and glucose depletion. Fasting and calorie restriction increase NAD+, and CERT1 levels, which have many anti-aging benefits, and it dictates cell survival. Exercise also increases NAD+, and sirtuins, as do heat saunas. There is a small amount of NMN in vegetables like broccoli, tomatoes, avocados and cabbage. Unfortunately, it would be very difficult to eat enough of them to reach the effective dose of NAD because you get like 2 mg per kilogram. A protein called SLC12A8 helps to absorb NMN into gut, 
which makes oral supplementation a potentially effective way of boosting NAD. One study on humans tested 125 milligrams of NMN twice a day over eight weeks, and it was deemed to be safe and effective. Compared to other NAD precursors, NMN has the least side effects. Like niacin is one of those things that can make you flush and it can make you itchy, but NMN doesn't do that. And NMN tends to be more bioavailable and more easily absorbable. So who should use NMN or other NAD precursors? Well, the most biggest tar target audience would be older people who are experiencing lower levels of NAD because of aging. And even, you know, middle-aged people or young people, they can use NAD precursors, for example, increasing their exercise performance or just uh, mitigating the negative side effects of sleep deprivation or something like that. So any, anyone can benefit from uh, NAD precursors or NMN. It's just that the older you are or the more sick you are or the more obese you are, then the biggest difference the, the, or the bigger difference you will experience. If you have everything else more optimized, then uh, you won't notice that big of a difference. Whereas if you're older, then you wouldn't have the, like the resources to uh, produce your NAD either. So in that case, taking NMN would be a good strategy in, in terms of slowing down the aging process. One problem with NAD precursors is that they can zap away your methyl donors and they can thus reduce your overall energy production by lowering your methylation. The way to get around that is to add additional methyl donors into your NAD supplementation regime. Uh, for example, things like B vitamins, folate, creatine, and those sorts of things, or trimethylglycine, they can help to uh, promote your methylation in spite of the supplementation of NAD. In my opinion, the best NAD supplement out there right now is Quicksilver Scientific's NAD Gold. It combines NMN and trimethylglycine which is going to ensure that you do get the energy increase from NAD, while trimethylglycine also improves the distribution of that NAD. Quicksilver Scientific's liposomal nanoparticle delivery systems also ensure the highest bioavailability and fastest absorption. I myself use NAD Gold on days, for example, if I got a short night's sleep, if I'm about to experience jet lag, uh, if I'm about to experience circadian mismatches or something like that as a way to prepare myself and as a way to give my body the energy that it does need. If you do want to try NAD Gold, then check out the link in the description and you can get a 10% discount. Alright, that's it for this video. If you like it, click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.